Okay, this is a Kenmore model 1774. This Kenmore um, more reminds me of like an 1803 or an 1813, more so than the 1700 models because normally the 1700 models like the 1750 and the 1752 just have the one knob and they're a basic straight stitch machine until you add the pattern cams. This machine's a little different. It, it's made like the 1803 or the 1813 in looks, but it has the built-in patterns also like the 1800 machines. Kind of weird. It's a more rare machine, and this is one of the machines that has to have the metal cam inserted to do the built-in stretch stitches. If your 1774, if you're watching this for information, does not have this metal cam, that's why your machine will not do your built-in stretch stitches. Now this machine also uses the plastic Kenmore cams like that. Now of course when you're using the plastic cam, the metal cam cannot be in place. So you remove the metal cam, you use the plastic cam, and everything should be fine. But to do a stretch stitch with a cam, I believe you have to have the stretch modifier on stretch. It's a very quirky machine. Kind of weird. But once you get used to it, once you use it for a few minutes, there's nothing hard about it at all. It has quite a few built-in stitches. Um, feed dog drop, adjustable stitch width, adjustable stitch length, reverse. And of course, like I said, it uses the cams. Now with it comes, let me see, 5, 9, 13 cams. And I tried to, and I gave you ones that are not already built into the machine because the, the, the designs that are already built in do come on a cam also. So I pulled those out and I gave you cams that do not already um, get created by the machine's internal cam. Um, it is a low shank machine. It is not one of the super high shanks, which most of these um, models are. This is a basic screw-on low shank, which is cool easier to find attachments for. It uses class 15 bobbins and it does have a button holder. I do not have the button holder to include, unfortunately. Um, I, I don't have it. And it, it takes a, very, a little bit smaller adapter plate so it's one of the harder button holders to find, unfortunately. Now this little needle plate insert here flips from straight to zigzag so you don't have to take out the whole needle plate if you want to put in straight. Pretty cool. 15 by 1 needles. Needles and bobbins both can be bought anywhere online or even your local Walmart will stock them. Comes with a few goodies. Those will be outlined in the description. It's a 1.2 amp all metal machine and although it is all metal it is lightweight. Sorry about that. Kick the camera there. And we'll run through a few things with it. This is one of my favorite model Kenmore's. It's freshly serviced, it's ready to sew, tabletop ready, or it can go in a Kenmore cabinet or carrying case. This is one of the large square deck Kenmore's. It will not go in a Singer cabinet or carrying case. It's three inches longer and it's square. A Singer is normally 14 and a half inches long. This baby's almost 17 inches long. So, but it will work fine on the tabletop as you can soon see. And I'm going to send a PDF copy of an instruction manual for a very similar model. I will send PDF via email. The only difference in the two models is going to be the way the thread runs across the top of the machine. So it's going to thread just a little bit differently than the model in the manual. But I don't have the manual for this model. So you get free a copy of a very similar manual. It has the same stitches, the same whole shindig, except it threads just a little differently because the top panel is different. Very, very nice, smooth machine. I mean, I I love these Kenmores. These, the Kenmores of this era, I know Sears didn't make them, but you just, I'm sorry, you just can't get a better machine. And after sewing on Kenmores like this, I'm beginning to hate singers more and, le more, and more. It's just a given. I just... Now the internals of this machine are a little noisy. Don't know why everything's been oiled. It's just everything, you know, something's 
They're just a little noisy, as you can hear when you zigzag. There you go. Now let's do a stretch. Flip over the modifier, and this should be a stretch zigzag. Stretch zigzag. And of course the metal cam is in place as I was explaining, so it'll go ahead and do the build-ins. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to take out the metal cam real quick, and I'm going to put in one of the design cams just so you'll see. And this is a scallop. This is one of the plastic green cams. I'm going to flip it over to cam setting. And it's one stretch. We don't want that. There we go. And there's the scallop, and that's being created by the plastic cam. Of course, there are total um, 30 cams available like this, like the, the the plastic cams. There are 30 available. Um, if you want to buy a complete set, you can, but just keep in mind this machine already has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten built in stitches. And here's your scallop. There's a stretch zigzag. Very, very nice, beautifully balanced stitch. We'll take that back out of there. I'm going to put the metal cam back in. Get everything situated. This is 12 layers of cotton. 12 layers. And this baby's going to blow right through it. And as you can see, we have lots and lots of foot lift. Six quarters underneath, maybe even seven. Lots of foot lift under there. Twelve layers of cotton. Using a size 16 needle. The machine treats it like it's two layers of cotton. I mean, really. Beautiful, beautiful stitch. With a 12 layer piece of fabric. You will get these fabric samples with the machine. Six layers of real denim. Not that thin stretch stuff. This is real denim. Six layers. And if you've tried to sew denim before over top of the seams and stuff, you know the denim is no fun. Pull six layers through just like nothing. Oops. And the thread wound up there. Six layers of denim. Beautiful stitch. And last but not least, three layers of garment leather. It's not chintzy leather, it's it's a pretty nice nice leather. It's not horse saddle leather. Of course this is not an industrial machine. If you want to make bridles or knife sheaths, you're gonna to have to buy an industrial machine. There's just no way around it because this one is not. Um one other thing that I forgot to mention is every pattern can be sewn with a double needle, even the stretch pattern. Total double needle capable. And actually, I will include a double needle with the machine. But there you go, running smooth as silk with a beautiful stitch through three layers of garment leather. Very, very nice. That is the Kenmore Model 1774.